one. Let's start with the number one. Can you see this bouncing ball? There's only one. Let's count together. One. When you see just one of something, like one ball, one sun, or even one nose on your face, we call it the number one. One is special because it means there's only one thing, no more, no less. So, whenever you see only one, you'll know it's the number one. Number two. Now we have the number two. Look at these shiny stars twinkling in the sky. There are two of them. Let's count them together. One, two. The number two is easy to spot when there are two of something, like two eyes, two hands, or two shoes. Pairs of things always mean the number two. Can you find something around you that comes in twos? Maybe two socks or two ears. Number three. Next up is the number three. Look at these colorful balloons floating in the sky. There are three of them. Let's count them together. One, two, three. The number three is fun because it's just a little bit more than two. You can think of three things, like three birds, three wheels on a tricycle, or three scoops of ice cream. Three is a great number when there's a little bit extra. Let's count again. One, two, three. Number four. Let's look at the number four. Do you see these bright cubes? There are four of them. Count with me. One, two, three, four. The number four is when you have four of something, like four legs on a chair, four wheels on a car, or four squares on a game board. Four is a balanced number. And it shows up everywhere. Let's count the cubes one more time. One, two, three, four. Number five. Here's a number five. Can you see the five happy animals? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four. Five. The number five is easy to remember because you have five fingers on each hand and five toes on each foot. Five is right in the middle. It's not too big and not too small. You can find five in so many places, like five stars in the sky or five pieces of candy. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Number six. Now we've got the number six. Look at these six colorful flowers. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. The number six is more than five, but still easy to count. Six can be found in places like six spots on a dice or six petals on a flower. It's a fun number because it's just the right amount for so many things. Count with me again: one, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven. Next is the number seven. Can you see these seven bright cars? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The number seven is a little bigger, but it's still fun to count. You might see seven days in a week or seven colors in a rainbow. It's a lucky number for many people, and it's easy to find once you know how to count it. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Number eight. Here we are at the number eight. Look at these eight colorful fish swimming around. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The number eight is fun because it looks like two circles stacked on top of each other. You might find eight legs on a spider or eight slices of pizza. Let's count these fish one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Number nine. Now it's time for the number nine. Can you see these nine beautiful butterflies flying in the sky? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The number nine is just one less than ten, and it's a great number to count. You might find nine lives in a story about a cat, or nine players on a baseball team. Let's count these butterflies again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten. Finally, we've made it to the number ten. Look at these ten cheerful, smiley faces. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. The number 10 is special because it's the first two-digit number, and you can find it everywhere 10 fingers on your hands, 10 toes on your feet, or 10 years in a decade. Let's count the smiley faces one last time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10. Thank you so much for joining us today and learning to count from 1 to 10. We had so much fun counting together. But guess what? The adventure doesn't stop here. In our next video, we'll explore the numbers from 11 to 20. So don't miss part 2. There's so much more to discover. See you soon!